The reason why I'm working out in the country is because it's peaceful here. I picked, a, I believe, the most quiet space in Tampa. This peace becomes meditative, right? So I needed to find a space where I think that others can find themselves. I think that the silence here can become so beautiful because then you focus on the smaller things. I think that it helps to silent you, center you, so that you can become at one with the space as I was trying to do with this piece. I love this idea of being with nature. There's horses in the backdrop. You can find that you can see the sun rise. You can start to see the rainbows after the rain. There's just different little things that you can enjoy with this environment. I started practicing art since the time that I could walk. I was uh, coloring on walls all the way to floors. That kind of grew from there. I got a master's in fine arts and proceeded to start to exhibit all over the country and then the world. This is such a joyous occasion for us uh, here at the Tampa Housing Authority. Miss Yala Ford with her art um, and everything that she gives back to this community really enhances and helps us and continues to fulfill our mission of empowering people and our communities that we build here with the Tampa Housing Authority. Yeah, I thank you not only for this incredible sculpture, but for all that you have done for our community. Many people don't know of all the time that she has donated to help the young people in our community get involved in art and to be able to see where their talent lies and then realize that potential We've started seeing some of her art throughout the community and hearing about her through the art um, network and was able to actually invite her to come and give us a vision for this place. And we went through a competitive process and actually did a call to artists and ended up actually selecting one artist for this particular space and that was Yala Ford. And uh, she came up with this creation based on understanding this community and connecting with this community. Boulevard Flow. This sculpture is truly about community. A large scale sculpture composed of two geometric spaces. The formation of this unity represents the fruition of what it means to work towards a common goal. A place where housing, art, and community come together within a dynamic urban setting. And so early on, I came down here. I took off my shoes and stood amongst these giant oak trees. I started to reflect upon the circle in which I positioned. I began to consider the idea of an enormous sphere, a sphere that would represent a sense of oneness, wholeness, completion, and overall a place for this community to celebrate our past, present, and future. And so this sculpture seeks to highlight the interconnectivity between community life within the West Tampa ecosystem. The geometric design represents the movement of the people the southwestern flow of the Hillsborough River, and the wisdom of the oak tree canopies that are constantly watching and giving us sweet vibrations of love. There's so many times when I am working in my office and I have to step outside to take a breather, to take a moment away from whatever it is that I am actually working on. And without green space, without art, without places that we can sit and just reflect, I think um, that it allows our brain to kind of get re-inspired, to get reactivated. This piece of art um, is one of the types of things that make these projects so special. One of the types of things that Related does in every project. It's George Perez's passion, it's his heart. Art feeds the soul. I used to be a member of the National Endowment of the Arts and every study that we did you know, the children from early on, when they're exposed to art and the creativity behind the art, grow up to be much more intelligent, much more creative, much better human beings. When I see this sculpture, I see collaboration. I see welcomeness. It is very indicative of the community that we live within, that there's all different shapes and sizes that come together and create something that is just gorgeous. It is powerful to witness what this city has been able to achieve in the last few years. It is powerful to the fact that 
lives are going to be impacted and have been impacted to a degree that we can't even measure when you think about the homes and the quality of living that people will experience and is experiencing in the Tampa Housing Authority development. But it specifically says that a person's zip code should not determine the outcome and the quality of their life. And about the symbolism of the maze, because when this thing first started, nobody knew where we were going and how it would get done or which direction we would go. But look at us now, see we flowing. That's not just boulevard flow, that's a flow of life. For us, you know, hearing the kids' voices, seeing the kids, you know, attending an event like this and being able to have exposure, you know, to art and, and creative things and positive things in their neighborhood, it, it truly is priceless. It's what gives me the passion to continue to do what we do every day and to build community. It's, it's, there's nothing like it. Art really structured my life and who I am today as an adult. And so I think it's really important for children to walk by art every day. We've got a number of public art projects that are currently underway right here at West River. Uh, so we're working on the uh, West River Square that's going to be graced with some incredible public art. We uh, are constantly curating art for our buildings, internal to our buildings as well. Art, it ministers to the soul. It brings a form of peace and tranquility that other things just cannot do like art. And just to see this flow looks really amazing and this is the kind of area that we would love to be in where we can be close to downtown, close to all the connections and, and make the, the, this Tampa space our space. Yeah, me and my kids were living in the motel so this is a good, good step up from where we came from, man. And I would like to thank the Tampa Housing Authority and the mayor, you know, for making this community for me and my family to have and, you know, other families to come and live and have a safe environment.